Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about is airline stocks a buy right now? You know, one of the most common questions that I get asked, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, is should I buy airline stocks? And I do think, yeah, there's opportunity there, but I do think there is risk. And that's what we're going to go ahead and look at. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys learned something. So now that's roll the intro, let's go. Let's jump into it, guys. Bam! Now, we're just going to actually go ahead and just look at American Airlines just for this brief example. Now, if that's say American Airlines, you know, let's just say 2020 was a complete crap show and, you know, in 2021 they start making the same revenue that they made in 2019. Is the stock a fair price at the same price it was in 2019? The answer is no. The reason why is because the company is going to have to stay afloat somehow. Whether this is taking on debt, whether this is buying shares, whether it's you know offering bonds, whether it's something that is not the best for the company. American Airlines is taking on large amounts of debt just to get through this overall recession. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually go ahead and turn to the computer, look at support resistance lines for a lot of the very, very popular airline stocks. So I hope you guys enjoy it overall. I hope you guys learned something. Alrighty guys, so the very first stock that we're actually gonna go ahead and look at is ticker symbol DAL, also known as Delta Airlines. Well, before everything happened, we had this beautiful upward trend in the chart and then this whole slam by this whole overall recession and a lot of airline stocks, cruise line stocks, and overall travel stocks just got absolutely destroyed because people can't travel right now. So this stock actually looked pretty good all the way back in here, back in here, the stock looked pretty strong. You know, because we had an upward trend, they were paying a dividend, every, everything seemed fine. Now this happened where this company literally went from making a lot of money to nothing. Now the thing here is they do have some nice support here at around two, at around twenty dollars. Now this stock has slowly kind of grown to around thirty-five and then sold off back down to thirty. So right now we're kind of in this little uncertain era, just because the stock is kind of trading in between this little, um, these little, little support and resistance lines. So technically, by textbook trading, we are in a downward trend of the stock right now. So do I think that this stock is a buy? Absolutely not. You know, I do think, you know, there could be opportunity in the long term with this stock. But like I said before, is you always have to look at the fundamentals. So Delta Airlines, um, you know, for the quarter ending in March 31st of 2020, they had to take on $17.8 billion in debt. Uh, this was an overall 32% increase. So this is one of the largest increases of um on here you know they did have an extremely large one right here but they kind of stayed consistent with that until this huge jump with this overall pandemic so do i think that this stock is a buy i do think there is an opportunity in the long term you know do i think airline stocks are better than cruise line yes i do think that these are more essential and i do think that these stocks will overall recover faster but with all these stocks i'm gonna i just want to say this in the very first one is they do carry risk with all these stocks they carry risk so the way i look at it is i need to have a solid foundation of etfs blue chip stocks um, better stocks than this before i even think about investing in this if you are somebody who is just getting started in investing go ahead and look at this guys look at spy this is a better one you know this stock is, or this etf is the general market and you guys are going to be buying it on a discount so this is better for beginners i i can't stress that enough you guys got to stop looking at you know just because something is down so much um it doesn't mean it's a buy. There's a lot of fundamentals behind it that don't that are a little wor that are a little scary. Look at the cash on hand. You know they had to take it. They had to hold so much cash because they don't know how long they can carry their business out. A 212 percent increase. That's the largest on the chart. I do think there is a lot of things that we have to be concerned about this one here. So the next one here is um, United Air. Let's actually go ahead and look at the debt for this one. So this one isn't as bad. This is an overall 2.8% uh, increase. So this one's honestly a little better, you know, with the overall debt. That's what really concerns me about a lot of these airline stocks. So with this one, let's just do a little quick breakdown. Uh, this one here was really trading in between 97 
and really there's some support here at 56 and a lot of support here at 77. So you guys can see those levels. Stock fell all the way down to about $20 before it got bought back up. Found some overall resistance at around $50, but the same thing before, we're in the downward trend of this stock. So, you know, looking at it, I do think there is some overall potential, but the same thing, this company is going ahead and holding a lot of cash. So this one, I, I do think, yeah, okay, I do think there's opportunity here, but I do think your money is better suited somewhere else with this one at least. So let's go ahead and look at one more and just to get an overall uh, feel of the airline industry. So this next one here is American Air. This is the one that concerns me because look at this, before this whole recession hit, we had this really, really downward trend in the stock. So let's go ahead and look at the overall financials behind that. Uh, so looking at the overall debt here, let's kind of move this. Um, this is a 4% increase, the second largest here, but let's go ahead and look at the cash on hand, a 17% decline. So you have to you have to realize they're starting to spend their cash. So I would highly recommend not getting into American Airlines. I do think that there is a possible short on this. This stock cannot break above this 200 moving average line. So this 200 moving average line is the hardest resistance on this chart. Right now, my number one airline stock that I would highly recommend if for people who are, are getting into it, honestly, would probably be, it's so hard to say because there's so much financial issues with all of these, but I honestly would rather see you guys put your money in maybe a Delta or United. You know, I don't think American is a buy at all. But if you guys just want to go ahead and invest in the whole sector, you guys can just use the ETF by the name, by the ticker JETS, also known as Jets. Um, this has a whole bunch of holdings and um, airline stocks. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity with this one as well if you guys just want to diversify and just you know, go with it. That's what I would highly recommend doing over investing in uh, certain airline stock. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and overall stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow guys. Take care.